Hi guys, what's up? It's Joel Pitt here, back with another video, and in this video, it'll be for Love Island, episode 58, and this was the reunion. In the last video, I'll leave a link down below to, was the live final. There's going to be a few spoilers in this, so without further ado, let's go on with it. So, Jake um, wasn't turning up, he said he was feeling unwell. There was Ian and all the islanders in the studio. I think there was one point, um, well, not in the studio, but on the um, videos that Chloe might have cut her hair. Uh, they all had to self-isolate for a week before coming into the studio. Tyler and Kaz, they showed them going to the park and bowling with family and friends. And then Tyler asked Kaz to be his girlfriend. She like spilled a glass and broke it. Faye and Teddy, um, well, Faye took Teddy to her home place. Uh, in Devon, the beach, met her parents. Liam and Millie were constantly kissing. They had drinks, met the parents. There was a massive poll, well, three massive polls. So the first one was, was Millie right to take Liam back? And there was only one no, and that was from Shannon in the studio. Um, Brad was turned on by Lucinda and Aaron kissing when he was at home. Um, Priya and Brett were, had a cheese board, and then the spaghetti for Teddy and Faye because of all the jokes when it was on. Um, then another one, should Hugo have given the girls more of a chance? Aaron, Lucinda and Dale said no. Then there was Ian Best bit, so with Rachel at, at, on the slide and then hitting herself on the metal bar. Uh, Millie playing the piano and then Liberty pretending to speak French. Um, but like, um, Liberty and then she met up with Kaz and then met up with Jake again talking about the future like you know going their separate ways and then another one do you think Toby and Chloe will last and then everyone in the studio said yes then we showed they showed the shouting clip of Faye and Teddy so 72% said yes and 28% said no for the um, Millie and Liam question 86% said yes and 14% said no for the Hugo question and 85% said yes and 15% said no for Chloe and Toby's question. Um, then we had best fake news. So, well, different awards. So there was Rachel, um, fast dumping from Shannon, uh, the most dramatic, well, it was different nominees. So. Rachel was the best fake news about the Coco van, saying it was duck with wine. Um, fastest dumping, Shannon, basically she only lasted like a few hours, left in day two. The most dramatic performance from Hugo, um, with the same thing to Chloe, when Toby didn't take him back. And then epic fails for Chloe when she hit the the tree, when about pancakes. Then Cara Delevingne and Amy Schumer were um, sending a message in and then there was loads of memes from all the Islanders. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Um, Love Island is over now. But there is a new dating show, I have talked about it, Ready to Mingle. should be on every night at 9 o'clock. Um, there's also some other stuff that I've, has happened. Some of it might have been a bit earlier, but like I've just not been doing any videos since. So there was Soccer Aid on the 4th of September, McDonald's Monopoly returned on the 25th of August, don't know when it ends. Um, 6th of September, Ready to Mingle started. We had um, Soccer Aid specials of the Cube, Tipping Point, Tenable, The Chase, Catchphrase. Um, Saturday the 11th should be a new series of the Cube. Uh, the Holden Girls, Mandy and Myrtle, started on the 7th of September. The Hit List started on the 4th of September. Family Fortune's Best Moments were on the 5th of September. And the new series starts on the 12th of September. Unbeatable came back um, 6th of September. The Chase, new series of that, started on the 30th of August. Same with Tipping Point on the 30th of August. House of Games, a new series, I forgot to say, started like way back in 16th of August. It's Clarkson on TV, uh, there was a new episode of that on the 29th of September. Pointless returned on the 6th of September. Celebrity SAS Who Dares Wins, a new series of that started on the 29th of September. Strictly Come Dancing, no date yet, but it's coming soon, probably October. Bake Off, coming soon, might be the 21st of September, I think. Uh, the NTAs, the National Television Awards was yesterday on Thursday. 
The World's Greatest Weddings started on the 1st of September. We have a new series of Gogglebox started on the 17th of September. This new thing called Paul O'Grady's Saturday Night Lineup starting tomorrow on the 11th of September. And then Spice Girls, How Girl Power Changed Britain, a free part thing on that. The first episode of that is on the 14th of September. So a lot of telly is happening in September. And then I think more will be happening in October and November. You know, I'm a celebrity and all this sort of stuff. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.